keeping the spark alive is bigger than that five by eight bed in your room. Is the bed really five by eight? I don't know. What, what up, y'all? Josh and EC here once again with, with another, another quality, quality video. video. <laughs> So today we are going to be talking about how to keep the spice alive in our relationship. Keep it hot. Fire. I knew you were going to do that. I knew he was going to do it too. You going to do it too? Yeah. We get this question quite often. I feel like, I don't know if you've noticed, but people ask like, how do you guys keep it exciting or how you keep guys the spark alive like, or like each other? Yeah, how you guys still giddy after like four years of being surrounded by each other? Right. And the answer is... We're not going to answer it yet. Yeah, we're not going to answer it yet. We gotta, yeah, we, you know, we gotta do our we gotta do typical ritual. The ritual. Okay, so first... Showing them the food. Whoa. Let me focus that because they need to see how gorgeous these uh, Granny Smith apples uh, are. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> and then I oh uh, okay. <laughs> and then I am gonna use this caramel dipping. Uh, I got it from Walmart. It's so good with the apples. And then I need some protein in my life, so peanut I'm gonna butter. go ahead and get some peanut butter going with that. Natural. Natural peanut. No stir cream. I'm over here trying to promote healthy lifestyles. They gonna get on you because a lot of them. Remember you said like videos ago about going vegan. Yeah, I know. No, no, no. Like no. Let me, let me, let me go ahead and clarify that before we move on. Okay, I have now decided I'm not gonna put myself in boxes. Right? I'm not gonna go out here on a limb and just say I'm a vegetarian, but I will say I'm very picky about when I choose to eat meat. Mm. I'm very picky about that because I'm very health conscious. But if you go to my channel, Hydrated Hero, I'm about to start hydrating you guys' timelines one post at a time. Don't worry. I got you. You've been you. doing that. Yeah. It's but, been. You've been doing But that. I'm going to do better. I'm leveling up. God damn it. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Let's go ahead and pray and hop yeah. into this video. Pray. Man. Okay. Well, Lord, please forgive me first because I just cussed right before we about to start praying. What did you say? Say God damn. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah, shoot. Talk on it. Okay. Lord bless this food they're about to see for the of our bodies. Help it to bless our bodies and that'll in turn bless our minds, which will in turn bless our souls and our spirits and give us the wisdom to pass on some great knowledge to these wonderful people viewing this video right now. These are another blessings we ask in your name. Amen. 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 Ain't a man who can pray sexy, y'all. Ain't sexy. Then he got the fresh cut on. I think I just got manhandled. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love when he gets a fresh haircut. But okay, you want to lead us off? Okay. Thank you for uh, cutting the apples and stuff, by the way. Oh, yeah, I got you back. All right, so the, one of the prime things that we do in our relationship to kind of keep it interesting is to keep each other on their toes. Small surprises. Not huge surprises. It's not like I'm taking on a helicopter ride or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? Ah, those uh, who really F with us already know. For his birthday, I surprised, well, one of his surprises was a helicopter experience, but it sucked because the day we celebrated his birthday, the weather was trash in Chicago. It was like dang near a snowstorm, so they had to cancel and we had to wait two weeks, so I had to end up telling him the surprise, which kind of blew me because I wanted to see his face of like, oh, liar. But it was still really, really, really fun. We're going to have a vlog come out. Wednesday? Are you going to be able to edit it by Wednesday? Wednesday? I thought you were editing the vlog. No, because I'm about to edit this and I edited the last one. Okay, so I guess I edited the vlog. Yeah. And you're All better right. at editing vlogs anyway because you right. had your little spin on it. Alright, cool. So anyway, our four year anniversary video slash his birthday vlog. We vlogged the whole thing. will come out this week Wednesday, so make sure your post notifications are turned on. Um, and the reason we waited so long is because just this recent Thursday we went on the helicopter ride. So we wanted to incorporate that in the vlog because that was a big piece of it. A whole lot going on. So, I guess with all that being said, like obviously you don't have to ball out like a helicopter ride type thing, but for me, or I think for both of us, when it comes to doing gifts for each other or something like that, we try to go outside the usual or the box. Mm -hmm. So like for our anniversary, yeah, we went out to um, dinner or whatever, but then like we actually ended up, there was a this place called Glow Zone in Aurora. I don't know how many people even live in Illinois. They probably don't know what that is. But Honestly, there was a... What, go I was going to explain like what it was. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So basically, it's like a, a glow-in-the-dark Chuck E. Cheese. But it was for kids. 
kids. It was for High kids. Key. It was hella for kids. Yeah. You'll see it in the vlog, because I think we put that in the vlog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was in the vlog. It was hella for kids. But at the same time, we decided we were going to, you know, be youthful. Yeah, we're both kids at heart. We almost... That's how we work. Y'all, we almost beat a machine. Ah! I think that is in the vlog. You know, no, because no, we cause couldn't no film it. Because no one filmed us. All right. Damn. Yo, so I sucked at it. You'll see that in the video. You'll see that I sucked and she was good, but we played this game together. You had to get 500 points to get 500 tickets. When we I say we made it to 490. We're going in. We were like, we're I got going. the top row, you get the middle Damn. row, we'll tag the bottom rows together. We, we were, were going, going in. Damn. That 30 seconds was lit as hell. So like, stuff I think, like that. yeah, stuff like that. I know this is gonna sound really weird, but team building exercises are awesome for relationships. What's an example? What we just did on that game. Working together, mm -hmm. finding some place. And then like, I forget what else. I guess mini competitions. We have a habit of doing mini competitions. <laughs> Like, all right, so we were playing putt-putt. Oh. I did not realize how good she was at putt-putt. Slightly turned on. But at the same time. Really? But at, really the same tell me that. Time, but at the same time, I was salty as hell that I was losing for majority of that putt-putt game. We ended up tying. I had to oh, save my did. pride. I had to save my pride in the, last, in the fourth quarter. But she was whooping my behind the first couple holes. I feel like us going to a kid's like arcade or amusement place like people would think it's lame or like not cool it's not about being cool like it's about having fun and i think when you put your relationship in this bubble of oh i don't want to do no lame shit then your relationship ends up being lame because y'all can like the funnest stuff in the world is lame yeah quote unquote lame. i don't even think i had a blast at that place with you because if you just keep if you keep yourself in this box of like okay this is lame stuff this is cool adult stuff or wherever your relationship is whatever age you're at things fall into like a routine and it gets boring and stuff so like my thing that i guess i would consider adult relationship things people want to just stick to like going to the club together which we did last night we'll touch on that um going to the movies going to dinner that gets lame that gets bored that to me gets lame after it's a while okay. like okay like movies are awesome mm -hmm. food is awesome mm -hmm. going to the club i guess is okay we'll touch on that yeah but if you do it over and over there is a thing as too much of a good thing now we have a ritual try this peanut butter just FYI, we have a ritual every Tuesday. It's five dollars Tuesdays. So, dang near every Tuesday. We don't go every time. Dang near. Now, but that, movie theaters, he's talking about. Yeah, it's five dollars Tuesday. So that's just kind of like a habit for us to go and see some good movies on a Tuesday for five dollars. But that's not like us keeping it spicy. That's just a routine for us at this point. Mm -hmm. In order to keep it spicy, you gotta do something outside the box. That's in the yeah, box. Yeah, constantly now. change it up. Because I remember there was even. Uh, I'll do like girl talk videos on my personal channel where people ask me Instagram questions about the relationship or whatever And this girl was saying that her relationship was getting kind of boring and like what should she do and stuff And I kind of gave her the same advice and I know that there are some girls who kind of Look to the man to take initiative on Oh, yeah, advice. for sure that for sure that but I was gonna say I know that sometimes there's girls who want to keep it cute and girly mm. and like so going to like the little arcade place where we were freaking mountain climbing or whatever like or extreme trampoline like some girls don't want to sweat or some girls don't want to do this and that and it's like you got to broaden your horizon when it comes to like trying to keep your relationship and that spark ignited i personally feel like i will say that i feel like i've noticed kind of over the years that girls are more open to going swimming or doing like very active stuff for me that's never been an issue because i've always been an athlete i've never really been a girly girl like that so i'm about that life like go and go and go kart racing or blah 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 I remember it was funny because when we went on the double date with Jasmine and JJ, uh, Josh's sister and her husband, uh, Jasmine was like didn't want to put the helmet over her head or like because she had a wig on. She was just very girly and stuff. And I, to me, it was just like I just slammed the wig on my. I mean the wig. I just put the helmet on my head. I was like, let's go. But I know that some girls are a little bit more timid and like that's not really the norm for them. But basically, I'm saying if you're that type of girl, then try to step outside that box if you're somebody who's experiencing like a relationship that the fire is kind of burning out a little bit and stuff like that and you're trying to figure out why you might need to look to yourself you know to solve that issue and I will say a lot of guys appreciate if we're doing something fun we're not necessarily concerned about image especially if it's like a real good time mm -hmm. so ladies just kind of try and step away from making the event a cute event 
and just make it fun. Like, mm. if one day I decide, like, let's go laser tagging, which we've gone laser tagging before. I don't want her, like, saying, I don't want to sweat. I don't want to run around. Like, I just don't want to make up. I just don't want my hair and stuff. Right. I just want her to slap on the best. Yeah, I'm not I'm, one of those people. I'm going to pop your ass. Like, I don't want to break a nail. I don't want to. I'm not like that at all. I definitely was a tomboy. I still have that in me. So, yeah, I appreciate that's that. an example. Um, when it comes to, like, doing gifts and stuff for each other and keeping that spark alive, I think it comes down to, we always touch on this, communication. We literally listen to each other when we're having conversations. So, I knew that a helicopter ride was something he'd be about and be really excited about because we've had previous conversations about skydiving or, like, you know, it's just a matter of listening to your partner mm -hmm. or so a less materialistic route of our anniversary. My gift from mm -hmm. Josh to me was actually this uh, this little report card. It was like a report card. Oh, was it our video that you touched on that with saying like I deserve a degree? Yeah. So it's funny because we both had that idea. I was going to make him a degree in our relationship because we've been in it for four years. It was just something cute that he had kind of said. And I was like, I'll do that. And he beat me to it. So my anniversary gift from him was a degree. Um, in biology or in love yeah. or something like that and then he also gave me a report card like I feel like they need to just see it they, yeah, need, they need to just see it I put a lot of work into it <laughs> I did alright I even give a little report card oh yeah me. you know how you get the report card in the little yellow uh, thing to show your parents so this is my degree y'all go ahead and focus it for them babe. there it is what does that say the College of Love. College of Love. This diploma is presented to E.C. Mayman, Bachelors of Biology. Uh-huh. And then he signed in and it's a little stamp. You put the date on it and all that stuff, y'all. <laughs> and then he took it a step further and gave me a freaking report card, y'all. I don't really care about this being blurry because I kind of want to keep that to myself. Like yeah. the stuff that you said about it. But it was so sweet and it made me cry because it was like, to me, that was the best and sweetest gift I've ever received in my like life for someone to put that much like energy and time into making something like that for me and then like for my grades or whatever like it went into depth what were the categories there's like different classes so I had one of my classes was cuddles 101 the next class was communication level four <laughs> the next class was slaying these hoes another class was loyalty fundamentals level four and then the other class was AP love and like at the end of each class category he put like what that meant to him or what I did to get the A plus in the class so like it was very thoughtful to get a gift that thoughtful and sweet it's like there's no materialistic thing I feel like you could have given me that would have mounted to how that made me feel and I guess this is a good note for all you gentlemen out there that are dating queens <laughs> it's hard for me to get her something she don't got. Mm. If Talking I'm, about independent women? Yeah. Very independent. She can provide for herself very much so. Better than I can provide for her. <laughs> so, in a sense, I have a harder job in front of me because I can't necessarily get her something that she can't get for herself. So, instead, I use my mind and I put more effort into it. You don't necessarily need a lot of money mm -hmm. to get a good gift. You just need to put in some time, some thought, and some effort. Mm -hmm. Girls eat up love notes. Girls, I like, do. She eats it up. I do. I leave little notes on the mirror. <laughs> There's one morning I woke up. He had went to work earlier, went to work out. And he left this love note. I don't search the picture because I took a picture of it. He left this love note for me to like. Because first thing, I don't know if everybody feels this way, but as soon as I wake up, I got to pee. Go pee, wash my hands, look in the mirror. When I look up, there's a love note. And it was just so sweet and so thoughtful. And that's the stuff that keeps your like fire going in your relationship. And it keeps, I feel like, kind of solidifying your spot as the one for a person. Because it's like, who is going to do this for me? Who's going to make a report card for me in depth and in detail like that? Or who's going to you know surprise me with different things here and there my favorite candy when you bring girl it was one day I was craving I said girl whoever's watching my bad <laughs> um it was one day I was craving a Thornton slushie that is like our thing and he um was coming back from work late and I thought about like calling him or text him asking him to bring it but I was just like well whatever when I say this man brought me home my favorite flavor Thornton slushie I said I'm gonna marry you just like that. Because it's like the thoughtful stuff. It's the stuff that you don't ask somebody to do. Like, it's just a matter. I feel like keeping the spark alive is more so a matter of staying woke yeah. in a relationship. Just don't get complacent. Yeah. I think a lot of people. Which we have done before. We always got to yeah. keep it real with y'all. We have both, like, 
it, that happens. We are both had to have talks with each other about mm -hmm. you're being complacent, I'm mm -hmm. being complacent. Holding that, each other accountable. It still happens. But the open line of communication is what really helps with that. Communication is everything. Literally just opens up doors. Mm -hmm. like, if that, I think the base root of most of our videos is talk to the other person. I think that's just... People a, don't talk. It's that's why we keep concept. reiterating it. I think it's honestly a foreign concept for couples to have in-depth talks. Not just talking, because people can have conversation, mm -hmm. and it can be very surface level the entire time. Mm -hmm. In-depth talks, aspirations, goals, fears, dreams, like beliefs, religions, theology talks on like concepts of life, and we'll you see us on our eating chills. Those are like everyday conversations. Mm -hmm. But in those conversations, you get to really know a person. Mm -hmm. And I feel like once you get to know somebody in depth, it's not necessarily hard to keep things interesting because you know what interests them. True. So it's just a matter of taking those things and using them to your advantage. Don't play all your cards at one time, gentlemen. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> what, what do you mean by that? Elaborate. Because, like, I still got some bag worthy stuff. Really? In my back pocket. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But. The reason why I do, I'm in this for a long haul. So I gotta like, I gotta spread it out. Mm -hmm. I can't just come in the month of February, I'm gonna hit you every day between the eyes with some bow, 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 bow. I'm gonna burn out. Mm -hmm. Hit you with 29 different things and then next month I'll be like, dang, I'm out. You mean 28? February has 28 It's 28? Days. I thought it was 29. It's 28? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. She got me. She got me. It's cool. But at the same time, yeah, you need to kind of spread it out. You don't have to do something every day, but don't go on droughts. And yeah, you know what? Oh, continue your thing. I'll keep it in mind. You got it locked in? Yeah. All right, well, just try and avoid droughts. Like, mm -hmm. once a month, try and do something, like two or three things a month. Just plan days. Literally at the beginning of the month, sit down Are with you. You used to do that? Remember when I showed you uh, the Instagram thing and the guy, it was something on the shade room where sometimes they'll have like men give advice to men or women give advice to women and they um, had had this thing where it was like men give advice to other men about like how to keep romance in your relationship or something like that and one guy had commented he was like want to keep your woman forever at the beginning of every month mark three random dates random. on your calendar like hella random for hella. and do something special for her on each of those three days that you mark so it could have been just leave a love letter on the mirror on the foot second of, yeah or give her a foot massage on the 15th of this month and then take her out to dinner on the 27th like it's just very random stuff so to her it's like oh like he's doing sweet stuff for me I don't know I don't know how to explain it but it really it felt good it really felt good. It really you felt stop good. doing it by like marking your calendar, but you still do sweet stuff. Yeah, I, I started doing the calendar thing to get in the groove, mm -hmm. and that way I got in the habit of like, okay, I need to be more day conscious. Like every month, I was so focused on like, okay, I gotta get to the bag, I gotta focus on my career, I gotta glow up. In my in the back of my head, I'm thinking I'm doing this for us in a relationship because I want us to level up as a couple. But there's things that need to be done right now to solidify the fact that I still care. Mm -hmm. And so, like, the little things that you do in a relationship aren't necessarily to, like, spoil them. It's just to remind them that, like, I'm still here. I still care. I'm invested in I'm this. I'm invested. Like, saying I love you once is cool initially, but, like, people change their minds damn near all the time. Yeah. So, like, you have to keep reminding that person, like, yeah, I still love you. You can say it and show it, though. Yeah. Oh, but the thing I was going to say before I really forget was... Finding another thing to keep the spark alive in your relationship, I think, is finding things to do together. So not a matter of just going on dates, but, like, find something that is kind of y'all. So I feel like something that's kind of becoming ours is working out together. Because mm -hmm. Josh right now is kind of working towards... Do you care if I share with him that? Mm -hmm. Working towards being a personal trainer. And I'm kind of like his test dummy. So I want to kind of get a little bit more toner and fit again, kind of get my like athletic body back. And he wants to work towards becoming a really good trainer. So like we're using each other in a sense, but we're doing it together. So we're going to the gym. My goal is to go with you five times a week, to be honest. Yeah, my goal to get her there five times a week now. Okay, that's we're just saying. How we're that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> I went back to back days with you though. Yeah. Thursday, Friday. You have runs. Okay, we're not talking about that. Either way, 
we we have that that we do together. We have uh, we talk about Netflix a lot. Girl, but we have like find a good Netflix a series. quality Netflix series. Josh found Blacklist. four months ago or so. Blacklist. We just reached the end of it. It's an amazing show, by the way. We got one more episode. Oh yeah, quality, quality season. It's a quality show. So like stuff like that. Finding a show together to binge watch. Um, what is something else that's like a us thing? Go on YouTube. What is it called? Grapevine? Uh-huh. Just sit down and watch that with them. Oh, you're talking about... Yeah, 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 yeah. They have good topics. Mm-hmm. Uh, we low-key put them up right conversation. Now. We are. Go, like, go watch them. It sparks conversation. Deep conversation. That really gets you thinking, mm -hmm. you know? Intrinsically, morally... You know, like on an ethical day-to-day -day basis, that'll really get you thinking. Yeah. Stuff like that. We watch it with our best friends, too. So, like, when we're all together, it sparks a group conversation. It's just it's just nice. Yeah. It's nice. And, like, even on social media, because social media, I will say, plays a role now in relationships. It mm -hmm. does a lot. If you find something funny, tag your significant other in it. Mm -hmm. Or if you find something very interesting that might spark a topic of conversation, save it bring it up later. Mm -hmm. Have something like deeper than surface level to bring to the table. Connection, yeah. Because I feel like surface level is what makes people feel like the relationship is boring. Like, yeah, we talk about the weather. How was your day? Good. Yours? Good. Right. Anything interesting? Nah, not really. All right, cool. What you want to do? I don't know. <laughs> let's, let's just chill out, I guess. We want to play some video games or watch TV? Cool. Like, that just seems very boring. You know it's crazy. I know it's not good to compare, but I've been seeing a lot of couples, and like, I was watching this one couple the other day, and I was just thinking their relationship just seems so unseasoned. <laughs> like, you know how we be? Everybody makes jokes about how white people don't be seasoning their food right, and that they don't have no. That's how I felt when I watched their relationship. I was just like, not that it was surface level, but it's just like dry. It was just dry and I was like wow I really have fun with my man yeah. and I was thinking um, like what other thing is something that like is a us thing but we up here we have a channel together that that's right a there. thing like it's things that keep connecting us together because you know it's interesting that I've kind of heard from married couples and stuff or like heard stories about is like when married couples have kids and stuff for them 18 years or whatever it's just about raising the kid together and then when the kids leave the house and then it's back to just the couple it's kind of like what are we doing now yeah like it's it, it's like what bonded them together was the kids and then when the kids are out the equation now they don't really know what to do together or they don't really have a a thing that's just for them Whereas I feel like with us, we're always going to have like that friendship or we're going to have been watching shit like that's not going to stop. And I think it's important to establish that before you start creating a family and stuff like that anyway, just so that when that time does come, it's not like you're kind of feeling like you're with a stranger again. Because honestly, I feel like probably when kids leave the house, it's like you're dating again. And I, I will say, like, I don't know. I have I'm not statistically inclined to be saying this, but like, I think a lot of. Divorces sometimes happen after the kids are gone. Oh, definitely. You start looking at the other person. I like, dang. We don't have nothing in common. The really only thing like, in common was we was raising some kids together. Right. And that sucks. Mm -hmm. That honestly sucks that you guys haven't built a relationship. I'm just saying that's something that I noticed and something that I think is important to really establish what is y'all's thing. So like we said, our thing is YouTube. Our thing is binge watching quality TV series. Our thing is, what was the third thing? Taking a step back in age. What do you mean? Being youthful together yes, and stuff? Yes, like don't cancel anything out because it seems childish. Put put, go-karting. If I had some Nerf guns, I would totally Extreme do it. Extreme trampoline. We used to do um, Sunday Reflections. Mm, I feel yeah. like our Sunday Reflections is basically like we designated time. It didn't, we didn't say like one hour or two hours. It was just like we designated every Sunday. We're going to talk and we're going to go through our week. So like he asked me, how was your week? And it's not like a matter of good or bad. It's like in-depth, how was your week? So I'm like, 
Monday, I wasn't really that motivated to film, so I blah, blah, blah. Wednesday, I kicked out four videos and blah, 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 and I felt good about myself. Friday, I got a really big business email from this big brand that I've been wondering. So that was my end up, whatever. And then his was like, Monday, work was kind of like, it kind of blew me. Wednesday, I did this really cool move in the gym, that blah, 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 and then he'll show me a video of what it was like. You go in depth with each other about it. That's why we keep like honing in and expressing how important communication is. It's not just a matter of saying like good or bad or whatever. It's a matter of like really going in depth. Yeah, like, the thoughts that you have in your head say to your partner. And I know that's something. Like, I miss those. We still do them though. I think that's why we don't yeah. have a designated. Like we talk so much. When, it's when something like happens, we don't wait yeah, till Sunday to tell crazy. each other. That's I think crazy. that's why we don't do it like that anymore, because we just we just talk and we're, we have a lot of time together. Oh, rock, paper, scissors is a really good one. The Bay Games! Bay Games. We don't, we don't do it as intense as we did in the video for you guys, but we do do little stuff like that Bay games is every real. once in a while. They wanted us to do another one. We don't have the space. I mean, we could probably take it to, the, to LA Fitness. Oh. That was it! Working out together. YouTube channel, working out together, binge watching shows. Those are our, our us things. Develop a thing. Our th those were our, my three examples for our things that we do together. My best way to say keeping it interesting, it's actually a pretty good formula. Develop a pattern, then break it. Then develop a new pattern, then break it. Why are you breaking it? Because that's what keeps it interesting. You've developed a pattern. Mm -hmm. It's like, we came to the movies, Every Tuesday for this month, and then on the next Tuesday, I'm like, take me bowling. Word? You're ugly. <laughs> See? Like, you just develop a pattern, break it. Develop a pattern, break it. It's a good thing. Is it break it, or is it switch it up? Because you can go back to the pattern. It's just yeah. a matter of reestablishing things. Okay, establish a pattern, deviate. Deviate! That's the word. You're ugly. Why do you? <laughs> Something else that you had said a while ago, but we never really did it. We were supposed to, I think at least once a month, you were supposed to come up with a date on Wednesday, and then the following week I was supposed to come up with a date yeah. night on Wednesday or something yeah. like that. It's something we didn't do, but it's probably a good idea for anybody else who's struggling with keeping the spark alive and stuff. Assign a date for each one of y'all to do something. At the beginning of the month, literally, maybe even put 30 numbers in that. Have a calendar together, by the way. Put, it's another thing. Put 30 days in little cards and a hat, shake it up, pull three out, and those three days out the month. Do something Y'all gotta pick something. That's a good idea. You never even said that for us. I just that saw just it came literally in. right now. That was a good idea. Come up with date ideas. So, wait. Oh, okay, so that's one way. Or, or another way would take be Take a hat. You're gonna make me lose my thing again. Another thing is maybe you guys each write down 10 different date ideas. And put that in a hat. That's what I was just about to say. Well, I said I was it first. I going to say, take, that, my take that hat. We'll, we'll put them together, my nigga. So you take a hat with 30 days. Mix that up. Take another hat with date ideas. Mix that up. Pull one date, one date. Hmm. Then a date and a date. So three, two to three each month. You should shoot yeah. for two to three dates or something. A date and a date, a date and a date. And wait, it doesn't even have to be a date though. Because I remember too, I had the sauce back then, y'all. I need to get back on my stuff. But like when I surprised you that one day over the summer. And like I had rose petals leading to this room. Mm -hmm. And I had, you used to really like my car lemonades. Mm -hmm. And I think I ordered some pizza or something. Mm -hmm. and like put lights around the room. You can keep it very intimate like you don't have to go out but just do something special for each other oh speaking of which we did go out yesterday oh to the club and we kind of made a realization that we don't need the club mm-hmm we thought it was so odd that we only go out out like that to a club or something like that when we're with our friends so, so we were like we, were we should like, try to do something just go out just ourselves me and you. so we went out we did have a good time but then when we got back in the car and on the way back we were like you know we didn't necessarily need the club mm -hmm. to have that much fun together because mm -hmm. we can shake our booties right here in this room right here in this room yeah and we didn't have to drive 25 minutes go to a club where they play some good songs and then some songs that we don't necessarily know mm -hmm. we just play our, our very Excuse own playlist me. clubs are about people watching to be 100 and there's a lot of people in a club that just like the people they watch. just watch they watched us dude that was the MC was watching us oh yeah I know it was very weird very weird. The, you're talking about the guy that pointed at me? Yeah. And then he, he peeped that you were with you? He pointed at me, I looked at him and was like, 
He was like, oh, no disrespect, my no man. Disrespect. Like, he had a mic and stuff. So it was so funny. It's so funny. So stuff know. like that. I think it's it's fun to go out with gang gang. Gang gang is our best friends. When, when we, we go out to the yeah. club every once in a while, we want to, like, just go turn up and stuff together. That's cool. And, like, you know, you have your own little circle and stuff. But just, like, us two going to the club, it's just not... It's, it's not our relationship. That's not what seems, we deem as kind yeah, of like fun. It, we could have went go kart racing. I would have liked that. I would have been so down. We should have did it. We can do it next time. We just needed to know that for yeah, ourselves. Yeah. I think because we never, we've never done that before. Really, just going out, me and him, to something like that. Or I think like we would have liked like a blues lounge or t something like Salsa that, where dancing. like it's it booths like where you can just chill and talk, but yeah. it does have a dance floor if y'all want to like. Just kind of dance with each other a little bit, but not no. People were like dry sexing and stuff. I'm sorry, on the floor. This dude and was just, going in. It just is not my cup this. of tea. That was like probably like the funniest thing that happened though, cause dude was like, it was like they were like, and she was loving every minute of it, and he was just going in. I mean, the whole club was like, man, dude just. Like they were on the floor, they were on the stage, they were just doing. The, it was literally one of those oh, get a room goodness. type of thing. Like wow. you're doing too much. Wow. So yeah, it was fun. The margarita was fire. Fire. Even though I didn't have no alcohol in it, I'm pretty Barely sure. Felt anything. But like it was fun to do with each other. But I think it was just like one. I don't think we're. I don't think we're that type of couple. I don't think we're a clubbing couple. We're not. We're not. And that's okay. Couple. But I so think like, we needed to like, find that out. Let's jet out to the club right quick. Yeah, you know? that's not us. We don't have to dance in front of a bunch of people to know that we can dance. Mm -hmm. Like dance off beat challenge? If we would have sat, sat here and did that, fun, I probably dude. would have more fun than I did at the that club. That was actually, night. like thinking back to that moment, we did that at 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. That was hilarious fun at 4 a.m. Yes, I think even that, like keeping the spark alive and stuff, is a matter of figuring out y'all as a as a couple. Like, what is you guys and what isn't? So for us, we figured out going to a club like that is not our scene. Right. That's just not for us. It might be for some couples though. Like, hey, like we like popping out together and stuff like that. Like, if that's for y'all, then do that more often. I think too. It's interesting that I'm just now thinking of this because I didn't have that on my like list in my head of things to keep the spark alive. But even us praying together like for this video. Jesus keep a spark in it. And, and like I know we both individually pray a lot too. Like I pray every morning and I thank God for like my life and stuff. And I include him in that. Like I thank God for blessing me with a man like him. So even keeping a spark alive I think doesn't always have to just be a together thing. Like that's an individual thing. I individually pray to God thanking him for you. But I think that helps keep the spark alive. Because I also say during that prayer too, like, help me and Josh to continue growing our bond together and our relationship. So I always make sure I say that too. And I think that helps. I don't know how. I can't prove it. Like, yeah. that he's sprinkled some more blessings on our relationship. But, like, we've made it this far. Yeah, no, he, he does keep sprinkling blessings. Mm -hmm. We just keep finding new shit to like each other about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We work. <laughs> if you would have asked me going into college... I'll tell them what you told me this week. Like <laughs> that you said to your high school friends. Because when I was in high school, I told my I was dead set. I was like, when I go to college, bro, I'm about to be the Mac Daddy of the Year. Like, I will not get in a relationship. I I don't have time to be giving myself just one woman. I gotta go be fruitful and multiply. You know, I gotta get out of here. Uh -huh. I gotta I gotta get out of here. And then sure enough, literally sophomore year, I only did one year of acting like a like a goofy. And then the second year round, you got hus hus hubbied up. <laughs> got booed up real quick. <laughs> but it's like you just stumble. Like I don't know how to say it, but when you find something you know is worth giving a shot, mm -hmm. don't don't neglect it. Trying to think of it. one more thing, give them the juice on how to keep the spark alive. McDonald's fries, Krispy Kreme donuts. Thornton slushies. Thornton slushies. Foot massages. Oh. Random jokes. Listening to each other. Brainstorming. Literally listening to each other. Okay. Then it's, talks. Over. it's over. It's over. It's okay. Ooh. Don't, don't strain your mind anymore. Uh, one more example too. Um, when it came to like keeping the spark alive and stuff and how we touched on like listening to each other. There was a time where Josh touched on it before a while ago though. Um, that his brother had basically took his like piggy bank. And this was like two or three years ago. Josh had been saving up hella coins. My brother robbed me. Yeah. Uh, 
and it was just like a rewarding type of feeling like each time he would go to the store and get changed or whatever he just put this in his jar and it mounted up to a decent amount of money and one day his brother like took it all and for my it was like Christmas or anniversary gift or something was coming up and I decided to go to my bank like get I don't know how much money out but I had them take the money and put it into coin form and then bought him a new jar of his own like for him to restart his what are you doing? Yeah, the <laughs> for him to restart his coin collection or whatever. Um, and I know it wasn't the same exact thing because it wasn't it wasn't as much. I don't know if it wasn't as much gratification, it wasn't as much gratification because you didn't build it from scratch, but it was a thought. Because I listened and I saw how like devastated he was by that. So. Yeah, it's about communication. It's really about listening to your partner. I know that he's interested in like personal training and stuff now. So if I was to ever do a random gift for him now, it'd probably be something that ties into what he's working on right now for his career. Stuff like that. Just listen, communicate, be open-minded, and don't ever feel too cool to do something. You're never too cool to have a good time. Mm -hmm. Life's too short to be a thug. Yeah. What? what? I say that all the time. Life is too short. Cause, Cause guys all the time want to be too hard for a situation. That makes me so mad. Mm -hmm. You go to the club, you not even finna dance because that's not what real niggas do. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. That Please really bothers stop you. Stop it. You said that last night. Please stop it. Like, bro, it's life is too short to be that hard, bro. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it's not going to kill you. Like, you can't hit the Dougie one time. You can't throw it up and cross out one time. Like, you, Ooh, you ugly. This stuff <laughs> is so fun. Like, why? Like, just do it one time. Throw the hand up. Wow. Like, ah. That no, you gotta, you gotta get a little shake into that. Ah. No, 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 no. It's in the shoulders. It's in the shoulders. Huh. You see that? Huh. 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 No. Okay. I'm doing it. Jack, no, see, look, that roll was a little too much. You gotta come. You're not even listening to me. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very true. Definitely be sure to like, thumbs up. comment, share, subscribe. If you are Tell new. Tell a friend. Mm -hmm. Keep this train going. Yeah, we have a lot of new followers. We I think we're at like 72,000. We're trying to get to 100K by we're the summer. We're not trying, we about to. 100K we by the summer. To. And then we're going outside with it because Lord knows it's finally going to be warm oh. in Chicago. Yeah. So, yeah. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for everyone who continues to support us and show us love. And boom, thank you to boom, all that boom, new... Boom, 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 boom. Thank you to all the new followers. I'm going to go ahead and peace, love, and hair grease us out. Peace, love, hair grease. Jesus. And we out. <laughs> Did I get you? No, I ducked it. <laughs>